morning. <sighs> Guess what day it is, Sean? It's Canada Day. Isn't that exciting? Uh-huh. How does the song go? I don't know. We should probably Google it. I think it goes, Oh, Canada. <laughs> and that's all I know. Oh. That might not even be correct. We'll wake up. We got lots to do. What time is it? 6 a.m. Oh, um, Jesus. Good morning, Sandy. Happy Canada Day. And Mr. Sully, happy Canada Day to you too. It's your first time at Canada Day. Oh, I got a jumping jack. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. It is July 1st. We are here in Victoria Harbor. We're at the Wharf Street Marina celebrating Canada Day. Canada Day is the Independence Day for Canada. So last year, it was the 150th celebration. So this year is the 151st year of them being independent. I'm not quite sure, but I will Google it and let you guys know. So we woke up early. It's another amazing, beautiful day here in Victoria. And we've got a busy day ahead with lots of fun stuff. And we're excited to check out what's all around here. There's a whole lineup from 10.30 a.m. this morning. Um, it's like 7 a.m. now. From like 10.30 to 10.30 at night. There's a whole lineup of fun activities, food, music, um, and some a big, massive human flag of people that lay out in front of the Capitol building. So we're gonna be sure to check that out and see what Canada Day is all about. Located only about 60 miles from Seattle by airplane or ferry, Victoria, British Columbia was a calm and relaxing 10-hour journey aboard Freedom. We arrived at the Wharf Street Marina a few days before the big event to get settled into our slip and avoid the crowds. If you come by boat for Canada Day, be sure to make a reservation months in advance as this is by far one of the most popular times of the year. You'll even be expected to raft with other boats, so prepare accordingly. Victoria Harbor is a bustling center for water travelers coming and going on the Victoria Clipper, Harbor Air seaplanes, or my personal favorite, the Victoria Harbor water taxi. Uh, looks like a bird pooped. Uh. You want to ask these guys when they're done wiping up uh, the Huntress if they could go ahead and just come on down and wipe up Freedom? Well, I was hoping we could invite ourselves on for a continental breakfast. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm sure they've got plenty to go around. Ah, <laughs> uh, yachts. And this is day three of impeccable blue sky weather. It's awesome. The month of June in the Pacific Northwest wasn't, oh boy, oops. <laughs> <laughs> you have a bag, sweet. <laughs> anyway, where was I? Yeah, the, uh, <laughs> the month of June in Seattle hasn't been great. And then the minute we come on vacation, it's, like this so couldn't be more thankful and grateful for this awesome weather it's warm it's sunny and we're here in British Columbia enjoying what should be a pretty fun day We're taking a little early morning walk, get the dogs out, stretch the legs before we 
head out on the kayaks, but wanted to give a quick shout out to our friends back in Milwaukee, Max and Sam, for their new Lady Sam merch. Looking nice. Beautiful Tierra back in Miliwake. So thanks guys. You've encouraged us to get a move on it with our apparel for MV Freedom. Just doesn't seem appropriate that he's walking around our boat with a Lady Sam shirt, so to get right on that right after Canada Day. <laughs> so funny coming here we come here twice a year so a couple times in the summer and then over Christmas which has been our uh, tradition now for a few years and it's just crazy how much more alive the city comes in the summer versus over the winter which as you can imagine but definitely a good vibe when the weather's good lots of people lots of fun stuff going on especially during Canada Day big celebration here for our friends to the north Canada Day is commonly referred to as Canada's birthday, and today is actually the 152nd year of Canada's first major milestone to independence from Great Britain. Locals like to enjoy a day filled with food, festivals, free music concerts, and of course, fireworks. It's a sign. Just what we've been wanting. Should we get it? Go for a paddle? Yep. And then rock and roll? Yeah. does not get any better than this. To be out here, there is not a cloud nearby. It's warm, it's sunny. And man, to be out on the water in a kayak, completely free on the ocean, it's just such a good feeling and there's never a day, there really isn't a day that goes by that I'm not just so thankful to have the ability to be out on the water as much as we are. One of the, the main reasons we named our boat Freedom was both Sean and I love the freedom of water, being able to go where most people don't usually go or can't go by car and go all around the world if we want to and just be out here in nature without a ton of rules and restrictions. I'm sure there's rules and restrictions out on the water, but 
the sense of freedom you get by being out here is the best feeling in the world and I hope to be able to experience this for the rest of our lives and go all sorts of amazing places and just uh, enjoy life. That's what it's all about. Okay, so now I'm going to cut across the channel here in the bay. It's a little tricky. Got a little wake coming in from the clipper that just left, but uh, ooh, we got an airplane. So in a few seconds, once that harbor air flies over, we're gonna cut across and head over to the wharf for a little lunch. Play your, your best you Canada Day hit. Oh, well, to me, this is a Canada Day hit because Blue Rodeo are my favorite. Well, except for Neil Young. I played a lot of Neil Young because we went to the same high school. But Did you? I, he, he went to Kelvin High School. I did shops there, yeah. Oh. But this is, um, this is Blue Rodeo, and it's called Ain't Hit Me Yet. Fisherman's Wharf is a must-see for anyone visiting Victoria. You can wander along the docks with your dogs while checking out interesting shops and eco-tour adventure options in the heart of the harbor. <laughs> the wharf is surely a unique location of floating homes, surrounded by live music, one of the best fish fries in the Pacific Northwest, and of course, ice cream and donuts. This ain't nothing new to me. It's just going home. Ah, Blue Rodeo for Canada Thank Day. Thank you. So good. <laughs> Thank you. What's your name? Jerry. Jerry? Jerry nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Happy Very Canada strong. Day. Thank you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Have a great day. Man. You too. And just like that, we're headed back to the Parliament Building for their two o'clock human flag formation. Everybody dresses in red and white, and they obviously we're not going to be in. The we're not. Flag. Yeah, we're we missed that memo. It just doesn't feel right being American, being part of the Canadian flag. We're gonna head over there, check that out, and then walk through and see what's new since this morning. Before we take the picture. Yes, uh, we need red t-shirts on the Belleville side. Quite a few. I'm gonna say we need about 45 at least. Okay, I need 45 t-shirts on red. Okay, here we go. Hats off, umbrellas down. Flags up. Okay, folks, we're just gonna do one loud, raucous round of O Canada and then we'll be finished. So they're snapping away up there and they're getting some video footage as well. So here we go. Who wants to lead us off? Oh, Canada, our, our home, home and native land. land. True patriot <laughs> love, I know Canada. I think we need to get him a baby Bjorn. Yeah, that would be convenient. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's pretty much like this. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, it's a good look for you. They call it a doggy Bjorn. <laughs> yeah, a puppy Bjorn. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, don't mess with it too much. You might break it. Dinner time? That's day one. Day one, I know. You're That's just a natural. You're a natural. You you said you wanted to come back as a rock star in your next life. I think we'll, yeah. We'll get there. Yeah. It might be this life, yeah. I know. <laughs> I'm gonna be The Rock Stars aboard Nordhaven 4303, Freedom. <laughs> okay, this is the fourth time now today. We've walked down the dock, headed back to the Canada Day festivities. And now we're gonna head there and grab some grub for dinner and check out some of the bands. They've sounded pretty good all afternoon, so hopefully they're as good as they sound from the marina. Went, went limp. That's right. Dinner is served. Back at the boat where it's quiet and warm. Warm and cozy. And back with you guys. Hi. I know. You're going to get some pizza crust. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs>